when you want to lose fat without making things too complicated, the one thing you need to understand is you need to eat less. It's as simple as that. Yes, we can get into the more complex stuff. The, uh, is it a keto diet, intermittent fasting, higher carbs, lower carb zone diet, counting your macros. Yes, all of that matter. And if you want to really step it up a notch, you will have to go to a more regimented eating approach. But if you only want to get leaner without being, going to the extreme, it can be as simple as controlling how much food you are eating on a daily basis. So I'd like to give you some tips that will automatically decrease food intake without feeling like you are depriving yourself. The first tip I mentioned was drink a protein shake before your meals. Now the protein shake will increase society and you won't feel the need to eat as much. So you're eating less energy, but you don't feel like I'm depriving myself. So psychologically, mentally doesn't feel bad. Now another trick you can do is you can eat as often as you want. But before every time you eat, you need to do something physical. It doesn't have to be like 30 minutes of training. It can be as little as seven minutes of intense work. For example, doing a little circuit of like, as many push-ups as you can, 10 body weight squats, and as many crunches as you can, doing four sets like that. That will accumulate about seven minutes of work it's fairly intense, or it can be low intensity work for at least 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go take a short walk, 15 minutes. I'm gonna walk upstairs for 15 minutes. Now, I'm not even recommending doing that for the caloric expenditure. That does not matter. The reason why I'm telling you to do something before you eat is to change your mindset. A lot of people are hungry or they want to eat before they're bored, because they're bored. I don't have anything to do, or I'm stressed out. I will eat to feel better. Now, if you have those urges to eat, then you force yourself to do something. I'm gonna do, go take a walk 15 minutes, I'm gonna do a circuit of push-ups, body weight squat and abdominals, then I'm actually unboring myself. So if my desire to eat was emotional or psychological rather than physiological, an actual lack of nutrients, then the fact that I'm doing something will shift my mindset. I might not desire that food again. So from an a, a energy restriction standpoint, it will allow me to not eat what I don't really want or really need to have. Another thing is when you're physically active, I'm redirecting blood flow mostly toward the working muscles. And as a result, the digestive system does not receive as much blood flow. That has the impact, the effect of decreasing hunger. A lot of people who train hard have a hard time eating a big meal after their session because they're lacking blood flow in that region. So, so being physically active that way can also help you control food intake throughout the day. And also, if it will make you question whether you really want to eat that hamburger. Oh, I'm craving that burger. Yeah, but if I want to eat the burger, I have to go walk 15 minutes. Uh, maybe I don't want it that much. So worst case scenario, you don't eat it and you don't do shit. But you can also do something and you might not even want the burger anymore at the end. So it's a very simple strategy. What, the first time I got lean in my life, because for those of you who didn't know, ju just do a search on the internet, Thibodeau before. You will see someone who is, was highly unseductive, was very single, and was nothing when it comes to being the sex symbol that I am now. And the first time that I really got lean was simply that, that every time I wanted to eat, I wanted to go out and did something. 
Of course, at the time, I was living with my parents, so what, it was pretty easy. We had a basketball court. So before every meal, I would go play basketball for 15 minutes. Not everybody can do that, but it can be if you're at work, you can go walk for 15 minutes. It's very easy to do. And if you take that habit, it will drastically decrease emotional and psychological eating, which is the real cause of overeating.